What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and as everyone is probably aware of by now, the Battle Pass and Seasons for Call of Duty Modern Warfare were delayed until December, and unfortunately we're not going to be getting any type of new in-game content coming this month. But as for next month though, we should see the first huge influx of new in-game items, such as customization items, blueprints, and of course weapons, which is very, very pleasing to hear because... To be honest, I just don't really feel like there's anything worth grinding right now in a Modern Warfare besides the new levels, of course, which I absolutely hate that I cannot really put as much time as I want to because of school and other personal life stuff going on right now, but also because there's literally going to be some type of animated camo or just a way cooler camo that's going to be able to be purchasable on the market or for us to be able to grind directly for. So I don't really feel a need to grind for camos as much. Much. and so yeah we're not going to be getting a battle pass or seasons this month unfortunately too they did not explain why it was delayed so we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with that but in the next couple of weeks here we're going to be getting those seasons and the battle pass now alongside with that will be the first ever in-game weapons which activision and infinity ward both have stated multiple times that the base weapons can be earned by just simply playing the game and then the battle pass and the premium battle pass will only contain cosmetic items but if you guys want to see a full breakdown of the post launch content I'm gonna link a video I did detailing all of that um, but as for the two new weapons we're gonna be getting we have an official confirmation now that the vector and the crossbow will be brand new weapons in a modern warfare because over on Twitter mr. Jarney who's a well-known data miner for a couple years now in Call of Duty he's posted a lot of leaked content back in infinite warfare um, but yeah he posted some gameplay footage of both the vector and the crossbow crossbow now for the vector it was a weapon from call of duty modern warfare 2 it's a submachine gun with a pretty decent long range accuracy mixed in with a insanely high rate of fire in my opinion but what did kind of suck about the vector back in the day was its ammo size it was very very small so you were pretty much forced to use scavenger as your main perk um i wasn't a huge fan of the vector back in the day but i thought it was pretty funny that you could akimbo those two like you could also do that with a p90 i don't know i just thought it was pretty funny to me really didn't like to use the vector as much like I said um, but still here and there it was just a fun weapon to change it up once in a while and then finally for the crossbow it appears to just act like a sniper except everything's a one shot and unlike in previous Call of Duty games there's no exploding arrows which does kind of suck because that kind of is what makes the crossbow pretty decent to use i mean i'm pretty sure the snipers are gonna have a fun time with the crossbow but as for using it as like a secondary or maybe as something that you you can you know just break a power position in or just break a hard point or a headquarters in it's not really going to be viable for that in my opinion um, like i said it's just going to be a sniper pretty much now guys we also are going to be able to earn cod points through playing the game as well but i'm not sure if this is if you purchase the premium or standard edition of the battle pass not sure which one or even if you need to purchase a battle pass to begin with but just allowing us to earn cod points directly is definitely a huge leap for call of duty and i'm very very happy to hear that honestly the microtransaction system and season sounds flawless for modern warfare plus activision themselves have said multiple times that they will not be adding loot boxes in call of duty modern warfare so it's looking pretty promising i want to say but you know weapons that aren't locked behind supply drops every Everything can be earned directly through playing the game and you, you know yeah I, I just have a lot of high hopes for December it's looking to be pretty pretty awesome here and honestly I just hope that this sparks more energy when it comes to playing the game because right now there is a little bit of a downfall when it comes to playing this game there's a lot of hate regarding the 720 shot 725 shotgun um, claymores etc campers um, so hopefully Infinity Ward does address all of that within the next update here they, they are going to be coming out with a patch uh, soon and the notes are going to be dropping when they are available um, Ashton did tweet that out earlier who's the community uh, director for Infinity Ward and yeah hopefully we're going to be getting some new game modes more maps and just so so much more that's going to spark more energy when it comes to playing this game please tell me thoughts about the vector and the crossbow down below in the comments guys again the link to those videos are going to be down below in the description thanks so much for watching love y'all so so much till next time I'll see you guys later